We're, we're involved in poverty in, in all sorts of ways. That's, that's really the critical strength in Bissell Center. Um, what we do is, is a variety of services, um, early childhood development for kids. Um, we offer uh, free food, clothing, services at our drop-in center, um, employment services, work with FASD, um, women's programs. So FASD is a fairly new concept, and I think we have really been lacking in resources. Um, so having a place to go to kind of get some of that information and move forward, I think is really important. We need to have these conversations. It is 100% preventable. Not everyone really knows and understands that FASD is preventable. It's not any genetic information that's packed, like passed along. It's purely from um, pregnant women consuming alcohol. And that can happen for a number of reasons. So we, we just need to have that support and that information there so people understand and can do something about it. So um, I grew up on the streets since I was six years old. <sighs> and that became my way of life. And the people in the streets were like family. There's a lot of them out there are FASD and I could relate to them and you know, there was just a lot of things that went on in that situation where it was like a family, you know, and, uh, you know, the way it was. I didn't care about things because I was, I was just didn't care because I didn't know who it was. Like, and back then, nobody even knew what FASD was. So it was like, uh, yeah, it was an everyday challenge. And it was hell. I was um, bounced around in the system quite a bit. Um, nobody could understand what was going on with me with a lot of behavioral problems and attitude and stuff. Um, had a hard time making friends in school and, you know, outside of school and stuff. It was, it was really difficult. Um, the major thing is, is making sure that people understand their disorder and making sure that they can live through it and that they have that one-on-one -on -one social and emotional support so that they don't feel like they're going through their disorder alone. When I first came here, I didn't, I was lost. Like when I went to the Bissell Center, and there was a lot of stuff that they helped me with. And the number one thing was with that ADHD, like my, uh, like uh, the, the disease. Yeah. I didn't know know about it, so it was kind of hard because I was always screwing up, and I was. Till I got to here, and then they they showed me that you might have something, and that's how I found out I had. You know, whatever it is. Uh, things didn't change for quite some time. I was in denial about it, and I started asking my family about it, like, you know, what happened and stuff like that. How come things are the way they are in my life? And um, yeah, and that's when they mentioned that my mother had been drinking in her pregnancy with me. It affects people across all spectrums of life. Um, however, with the issues that go along with FASD, the, the odds of somebody then having to cope with poverty issues because they're unable to potentially maintain housing, maintain employment, um, has dramatic effects on poverty in that community. Uh, it's affected my employment for all my life. It's because uh, certain people, like you can tell me how, what to do on a job, but if you start yelling at me, that just sets it off, and I just, I won't listen to you. And that's a lot of employees were doing that, so I went through a lot of companies. The major thing that we do is one-on-one uh, -on -one advocacy. Um, so our workers uh, manage caseloads of, of people um, working through disorders related to FASD and ensuring that people can have prosperous lives and, and sustainable lives. That's why I volunteer down here, you know, at Bissell and at the House of Refuge is because I can understand where they're coming from. And, you know, maybe being around them, I can say, hey, man, there's help out there. You know, Don't be afraid to get help. Don't be afraid to receive it. And it's always out there. It's all over, no matter what the situation or circumstances in your life. You know, it's there. I think just about creating awareness, it's really important that we do start these conversations. Sometimes they can be really awkward, sometimes they can be hard, but we just need to start talking. So whether it's to our coworkers, to our families, to our friends, we have to be really careful, I think, 
FASD, there's a lot of stereotypes, a lot of stigma, and we just have to be really careful not to be pointing fingers and shaming and blaming women. Um, I don't think any woman is drinking in order to hurt her child. I think there's so much more going on, and we need to be aware of that, and we need to talk about that, and we need to provide support as a community. I just think that's really, really important, and we have to keep that in mind.